some dire numbers when it comes to food charities in this country. A new report finds one third of them are forced to turn people away. A survey done by Second Harvest found that roughly 33% of people showing up aren't able to get the help they need because of a lack of resources. It comes as the demand on food charities is growing this year, many expecting as much as 18%. The report found 50% of charitable services in Toronto have a wait list for people who currently can't access support. Joining me now to break down this report a little further is the CEO of Second Harvest, Lori Nickel. Thanks for making time to chat with us today, Lori. Now, your organization yeah, found to. some really sobering statistics in this report. Why do you think the demand is growing just so rapidly? For a number of reasons, we haven't managed poverty at all. So we also know food prices are going up, but also housing is unaffordable. So when you have to pay rent costs as high as they are, you have no money for food left over. And I think what's really striking about this survey, and there was like almost 1,500 organizations responded to it, was that the people that were coming to these food charities, which are food banks, but they're also community centers, churches, multiple other places to access food, are not typically the people you would have thought of before. They're people with jobs, they're people with post-secondary education, including people that are living on assistance or um, the unhoused. So it's just a whole new group of people because we've lost the middle class and and I think this is turning into the new normal and we really don't want this to be the new normal. So just how much help do food banks need right now to keep up with this growing demand? So right now on average the individual organizations are looking at a need of $76,000 per year in additional costs. That's billions of dollars across the country to actually support the need that's out there, which is, quite frankly, not possible. And that's why we're forced to turn people away and turn organizations away. So for example, at Second Harvest alone, we have a wait list of over 70 organizations who want to access our food in the city of Toronto, and we can't accommodate that. And that's happening across the city and across the country where People are being turned away or are uh, redirected to a different charity or the food that they're getting is less or the number of days they're getting it is less. Like it's really impacting the charitable sector and what they've also told us is they need more food. They need more perishable food. They need more non-perishable food in addition to money. Now the startling thing is in Canada we have more than enough food to feed everybody. It's not really a food issue. It's not a food issue. It's a policy issue, so we need proper policy so that we don't have to exist. But while we have to be here, we need more food and more money into the system. Speaking of policy, you're calling on the federal and provincial governments for action. What exactly are you looking for? So at a federal level, we're requesting the return of the surplus food rescue program. It was a great program. It had a triple bottom line benefit. It supported people with the food they needed. It kept food out of landfills where it creates greenhouse gases. And it also supported small and mid-sized uh, food businesses because we could purchase their food at a really deep discount. We're also asking the federal government to expand the grocery rebate, the GST rebate to accommodate far more people on it, but also to increase the amount, because it's clearly not enough to feed a family of four for a year. Definitely a time of need for so many. Thank you so much for breaking down that report for us. That's the CEO of Second Harvest, Lori Nichols. Thank you so much, Melissa.